Contra Operation Galaga is more than just another remake of the original Contra. It's a retelling and reimagining of the story of aliens using an island off the coast of New Zealand as a staging ground of world-ending apocalypse and a highlight reel of the series' best mechanics and levels retouched and upgraded for modern sensibilities. In the hands-on time we had that took us through only three stages, we were convinced that Contra is so, so back. The story of Contra, the tale of the alien-possessed paramilitary Red Falcon developing weapons to kill all humans on Earth and the muscly men of the Special Marine Unit fated to destroy them, still absolutely doesn't matter but it is fully and completely voice acted in the way a lot of the more recent entries in the series are. And it's even, occasionally, witty. Hell of a Friday. It can be a bit long-winded though, and in at least one instance so far in the second mission, can be a bit of a bummer to have to sit through, as a full-on conversation halts the running and gunning to a crawl, especially if you're playing through this section again because you died previously. In this section, while speeding through the well-defended Red Falcon base on a hoverbike to find its leader, you encounter a deserter trying to escape because the flavor of war crime the group is looking to commit is a little too spicy for him. These guys are terrorists, man! Even though it's distracting, it also felt in line with some of the biggest innovations to the series brought by Contra 3, where things go down mid-mission instead of always at the end in order to keep the mission feeling dynamic and unpredictable. A much better version of this inspiration comes later in the stage, when a mini-boss catches up to you in a tricked out war buggy hoping to cut you off before you get to the fortress's data center. The focus changeup was a very welcome breakup to the bullet hell before and after, though it's just as much of a challenge as everything else. Another great returning Contra 3 feature is being able to keep and switch between two different weapon pickups, meaning you can tuck a favorite go-to weapon while picking a secondary one that might be a little bit more appropriate for the task at hand. With how dangerous and varied enemies become as you progress through the stages, having more than one kind of weapon is key for survival. A new feature in Operation Galaga allows you to stack a pair of the same weapon to upgrade it. Upgraded machine guns shoot faster, upgraded lasers ricochet off enemies and find new targets, and etc. Arguably the best addition though are overloads. By sacrificing a weapon, you can unleash a powerful attack that varies based on weapon. If you like the spread shot for its ability to cover large areas, and we know you do, then you'll love its screen-filling overdrive attack, which is perfect for screens with lots of enemies or bosses with lots of shootable targets. The first three missions will be pretty familiar for fans of the early Contra series entries. Much of the first is the spitting image of the original first mission's jungle assault, complete with watery ground and precarious bridges that explode under your feet. The latter half of the third mission's cliff climb to a base perched atop a plateau and the waiting claws of a mantis monster is very reminiscent of the first as well. What the hell? Where the second mission's speed gunning bike chase felt most like Contra 3 or Hardcore's most energetic missions. The differences in designs compared to the older references didn't stand out much, but the vibrant and colorful makeover demands attention. The characters and stages are visually the perfect mix of the new shiny fidelity and old school simplicity. Another thing Operation Galaga has in common with the original series is that it's tough. With only three lives and three hits per life, you'll be restarting at somewhat wonky checkpoints pretty regularly. Fast twitch responses and some good old fashioned level memory were key to high level contra play in the past, and it seems like that remains true now. Luckily, there are multiple difficulty options in case you want a less intense alien shooting experience. We'll be careful. If you've been craving a new Contra with older Contra sensibilities, look no further than Contra Operation Galaga. Whether you played the original when it made its jump from arcades to home consoles, dropped in on some of the more experimental sequels, or have never had the pleasure of jogging into certain death with your bros, this game is the best way to get the purest Contra experience without having to dust off your NES. For more on Contra, check out the Operation Galaga gameplay trailer. And for everything else in the world of video games, keep it logged to IGN.